Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC we do everything DIY and in today's video we're going to go over 3-on-1 start kits, how to wire and install them. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. In today's video we're going to go over 3-on-1 start kits, how to wire and install them. This is also known as a hard start kit and can be used in air conditioning or refrigeration applications. Just a heads up, if you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week, and let's get straight into it. This kit specifically is made by Subco and comes in various sizes. The three in one comes from three components being in one. So we have a solid state relay, an overload, and a star capacitor built into one. This control is completely pre-wired it replaces all three electrical components on all capillary tube systems. Can be used for domestic and commercial refrigerators along with freezers. In the back of the packaging, we're gonna have a wiring diagram. And I must say it is extremely easy to wire and saves you a lot of hassle. I definitely recommend having various amount of sizes in the back of your van. Here's a quick look at the installation instructions. Please screenshot this for a better view and we're gonna continue. On the back of the control itself, we're gonna have that same wiring diagram. Before you install this, it's important to understand the diagram. So we're gonna begin by going over that first. Here is the control itself, and let's pay attention to the wires. So there's two sides to this. If we separate this side, we have two wires. And on this side, we have three wires. This is gonna be our power, okay? And these three, are gonna get connected to our compressor. As you can see, we already have some solderless connectors on it. So the ones with the solderless connectors go to the compressor. The ones without it is gonna be our power. Everything will be color coded and it is all quite simple. This here is our hard start kit. This is gonna represent our compressor. So let's begin from left to right. So if we follow the white wire, leaving the hard start kit, it's gonna to go to the start terminal on your compressor. The black wire is gonna to go to your common on the compressor. The red is going to go to the run on your compressor. So those three, you're done. From here, we're just gonna connect these two wires here to our power source. On the right, I have a compressor, which yes, is cut open. I do have a video on that. You will see it pop up in your screen and I will leave a link in this video's description. I'm gonna show you an example of how we're going to wire this. Cutting open this compressor was such a fun project and I definitely recommend everybody goes and checks out that video. All right, so first things first, you're gonna turn the power off to your system and you're gonna remove pretty much all the wiring to it. You're gonna remove your capacitor, you're gonna remove your overload, you're gonna remove your relay, and pretty much only thing that's gonna be left are your power wires. Each wire has a solderless connector. You're just gonna follow the diagram color for color and pretty much just slide it onto the terminals of the compressor. Here are the three terminals for our compressor, the start, common, and run. If you are unsure of which one is which, just look at the cover that you took off to access this point. It will describe everything for you with a diagram. Also, there is a way to check which one is which using resistance. So I just connected these three wires according to the diagram using the color codes and terminal designations. So at this moment, everything is already connected. Our relay, overload, and star capacitor are all connected to the motor. And all that is left is to run the wires for your power source. So your two wires that were your power wires originally coming to the compressor, you're just gonna connect to these two right here. And that's pretty much it. It is very simple and very effective. Here's the top of the control. And if you pay attention right here, you could actually put a screw through here and mount this in a location that you find is suitable. And there you have it. That's how you wire and install a three-in-one kit an AC slash refrigeration hard start kit. These are definitely useful and extremely easy to install. Depending on the manufacturer, it might be slightly different, so always refer to the wiring diagram, but the concept remains the same. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, along with share this with your friends and colleagues, and I'll catch you all next time.